Wolfie here coming at you with another one. Now what we're going to be going over in this one is how to turn on 2FA onto your account for Fortnite two-factor authentication and you probably want to do that in order to get the boogie down emote. So just as proof that I already have it on, I've done it. Well, you can see in the background here, I've already got the boogie down emote. It's going, we're getting our boogie on. And that's probably something you want to do too. You want to get your boogie on, get that emote. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do that, how to go through the whole thing and get your boogie down emote. I actually have done this before in the channel. Some of you may be familiar with that's still there, but we're doing it again, except this time, well, things have changed a bit. And this time around, we're actually gonna do it on a mobile device. All right, so first things first, we gotta grab our mobile device. I've got mine, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw it up on the screen here. All right, so here I am now on my phone, and we've got our browser open. So what we're gonna do in our browser is we're actually gonna type in Epic Games Fortnite. And if you go down, you'll see we have Epic Games there. And if you go just a little further down, there's Fortnite. So we're going to click on Fortnite. And we're going to give it just a sec to load here. And once it's done loading, we're going to click on the upper right where you see those three lines. That's what we're going to click on. So once we click on that, we're going to go down to the bottom of the page where it says sign in. And now we're going to click on that. So at the bottom of the page here, once you click on it and it loads, you'll have this page that I now have here. So depending on what it is that you're logging into Fortnite on, what you play it on, that's how you're going to want to log in here. So if you play on PlayStation, you want to click sign in with PlayStation Network, or if you're on Xbox, sign in with Xbox and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing next. All right, so I've entered all my info, and now I'm logged in. You can see if I click on the upper right, it shows my name down at the bottom there. So it should show yours. You're logged in now. So now that we're logged in, what we want to do is you want to click on those three lines again in the upper right. You want to go to where I am now, and then we're going to go down to where our name is, and we're actually going to click on that. And once we click on that, we'll have a few options here. You want to select the one at the very top, which says account. So click on account and give it just a sec to load here. Once it's done loading, what we're going to want to do now is we're actually going to click on the back icon. So right next to account settings, you want to click that little arrow there. Okay, so from here, we're going to go down to password and security, and we're going to click on that. And once we click on that and it loads up, now what we're going to do on this one is we're going to go down to the bottom of the page here. So go all the way down to two-factor authentication, and you'll see you have a few options here. So just a quick breakdown of each of them. The first one is using a third-party authenticator app. How that works is you'll go into your Play Store, or if you're on Apple, the App Store, and you'll download the Authenticator app, and basically you'll follow the steps once you do that. You download the app with your phone, you'll then take a picture of the QR code, or you can manually enter the code that shows up here into your Authenticator app, and they'll give you another code, which you'll then come and put in your phone here, and then you'll hit Activate. And that's how you do that one. That one actually might be the most complicated. So moving on down, we have SMS where you can get a text message, an M SMS to your, your phone. And basically you'll enter that code in here. Once you've turned it on, hit activate. And that's it. That's SMS. But you may want to go with email. I know I personally like to choose email on certain things. So I'm going to go with email authentication for this one. So how this works is we're going to click on the button on the right and what they'll do now is that it'll take just a second, but after we click on that button 
And now at the top here, you see it says enable email authentication. So now what we need to do is we need to log into our, our email because a message was sent to our email with the security code that we need to enter here. So I'm going to go ahead and head on over to my email. I'm going to show you it so you can see and follow along. All right, so here I am in my email. You can see that I have my two-factor sign-in code right there. So now what I'm going to do is we're going back onto our phone and we're going to enter that code into it. Your code's obviously going to be different than mine. This is for me. So I'm going to enter my code here. And I'm going to hit continue and we'll give it just a sec for it to process after we do that. And there we go. Email authentication enabled. So that's how you turn it on. Now you've got the boogie down emote. So go ahead and get your boogie on or your boogie down. <laughs> All right. I'd appreciate it so much if you could leave a like in this video. Let's go ahead and aim for at least, let's see if we can hit at least three likes. And don't forget to subscribe. Till next time. I'm Wolfie, and I'll see you then. Bye.